play versus AI. Now, why does it? Okay, so now if you, when you're ready, just click ready. Do we have to play against AI. Is that? Uh, or... Yeah, we have to play against AI until you're level three, I think. Oh yeah, really? Until you're level three. You can't go online until yeah. that. Okay, let's do it. Hey, you should be able to get pretty quickly. To yeah, I mean, I got three. level two and one one go, so I'm assuming that. Mm -hmm. I can... Stand ready. Let's do this. <clears throat> All right, so I clicked ready. Are you just setting up some stuff? Did you? Oh, I gotta be less than one apart. So I guess I go to tier two. What does that mean? Like when you go tier two, you can actually like put low, low, lower quality troops in or something? Or I have to be yeah within two of or within one rank of your character. I can't come in as like a level eight legion hmm. with your level well, that's two fair, guys. I guess. So you have the ability to yeah. play like against other top players if you want. Or you can play mm -hmm. down. Yeah, exactly. And so when I'm playing with you, you know, it, it would be kind of weird if you got lined up against people on my level, right? You just yeah. get destroyed. So. Could they could they mix that up to have a variety of people on each team, or is it always pretty much like they? Well, it opens up later on. So when you get up to like tier six, I think it's tier six to ten. So you get some interesting units. Hmm. Like uh, once you're up at level ten, you see a lot of elephants, which are kind of overpowered right now. What level are you yeah. right now? Well, I can get up to level six, I think. I think I've got uh, legions at level six, hmm. but um, I've been play playing recently with catapults. I'm in a legion with you right now because catapults, I kind of sit back. Hmm. Can't really be in the fray with you, but um, I'm having a lot of success and fun with catapults. Yeah, it's uh, it's satisfying. <laughs> place them in the right place. Connect. But uh, what I was going to say about archers, yeah, you know, there's a lot of different interesting <laughs> things like cow traps is, are definitely obviously useful for mobility and whatnot. Um, another one to consider, I don't know if it's on your level or, you know, certain, um, units will have access to different, uh, bonuses, but there's one, I think that's got like, um, I thought oh, maybe that's catapults actually. There's like, there's something that either adds like smoke or something mm. like a acrid smoke and it demoralizes troops. <laughs> so it's a really kind of a niche thing to try out, but I saw somebody do it where, you know, they shot um, some acrid smoke arrows, and then they immediately flanked the guys with infantry. Mm. And before they even lost any guys, that unit was basically already routing. So they're just like, <laughs> I don't like any of this. <laughs> this sucks, you know? So it's an interesting game. Like, the strategy is really kind of um, what makes it fun, you know? Just managing three characters and trying to hopefully, you know, work well with the other guys. But... There have been some interesting matchups. Like we got into a matchup where where should I deploy? There were oh beside you. Um, yes. Yeah, beside me. Oh, I, I so three is fine if you want to take. Th oh yeah, that's fine too. Yeah. Um, we had an interesting one where we got matched up. Where there were twelve catapults on each side. So there was just like twelve units of catapults, right? <laughs> so there, there were rocks flying all over the map. Like it was such a interesting, enjoyable game. The matchmaking is interesting. Um, Are we all against the computer right now, basically? Like, we're... Yeah, we're all kind of just beginner levels against the player. So a few things I would suggest yeah. um, is when you've got all three of your guys highlighted and you want to move forward, don't just click, um, just right click, or sorry, don't just... I use formation. I always put them in formation. Is that what you do? Like yeah. So hold, marks. right click, yeah. right hold, right click, and then let go. Just so that they're the units are spaced out a bit, right? Like, do you even? I I specifically draw the formation like that too. Like, you, you can put the formation of where they're going, right? That's what I do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, what angle and stuff. Yeah. The key is you don't want to group your guys up because that's you know obviously for archers and stuff, you love it when a enemy is grouped up aggressively. Yes. But it doesn't seem like I have much flexibility on the width of the formation. It seems to be the same. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but it's still better than if, if you just click, they would all go into one pile. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, when you guys play, do you guys play against other humans then? Yeah, like, oh, yeah, we've been playing against other humans. Is it, is yeah. it big groups of people? Like, is it like uh, eight against eight or, or what kind? Um, well, it's, uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I guess. Ten against ten. Oh. So, really, some compelling uh, fights spring out. Firing on this Minatus guy. Nice. Because I'm firing on allies. How, how, they're, they're not even close to me. 
Yeah, there's always going to be a little bit of. Uh... When you do caltrops, do you have to click? Do you just click on it and it drops? Or do you have to like click on in front of you or something? And it might have to. I don't know how long it takes to deploy that. Some things take a little bit of time. Let's see. If oh I'm man, I'm gonna get flanked here. I gotta be careful. Cause I'm getting flanked. The thing about versus computer is yeah. that um, quite a few players just like AFK to try to level up. So ideally, yeah. we get into. Compute, uh, uh, oh, I just fire arrow these guys. We're back. Nice. Yeah, that that, guy, that one leaves. Oh, there's a lot of go. enemy here, though. Holy smoke! Oh, these are spears. Why am I going up against these guys? You're getting hit there a little bit by uh, on the side there. On the left or the right? Just uh, you got melee right on your one. Oh, I do like one set of guys. Okay. I didn't see them deploy caltrucks at all. I didn't, I didn't see that. Or if there's like something physical about it. See if I could. Could... Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh oh, are they coming at us now? Oh, cavalry is in my is there any signaling in this game to be like come here or something? Like, how do you? Yeah, if you look on the mini map, yeah. um, you'll see a little exclamation mark. If you press that and then click somewhere, I think, or right click maybe. I, I don't know. I use it too often, but. <laughs> oh, I just pinged it. I think I pinged it. Nice. Out. I'm not doing too hot here. We're gonna have to help you guys. I I I don't understand how caltrops work. Like, I don't know. If can't dodge on drop caltrops at your feet. So I guess. Oh yeah, you've dropped you've dropped caltrops. Look right to your left. Oh, I see them. Yeah. If I go over them, does that hurt me? It would still hurt you. Yeah. In this game, it's it's quite realistic. It's just a physical um, thing. If you don't if you if you don't it's move, a physical thing. then it's fine. Yeah. The funny thing the funny thing is, um, <coughs> one time James and I were playing, and I was I was playing as uh, Pike. Yeah. And I had gone into like Pike wall formation, yeah. and. He started backing up into my pikes, yes. and I decimated his unit. Oh my god! Like, <laughs> you can't usually melee each other, but I randomly <clears throat> meleeed like 85% of his troops just because he accidentally ran into the mm. pikes. I see. So you do have to be kind of careful. It's realistic. Same this game is pretty realistic in that sense. Yeah. It's realistic. I think the way the the format is kind of realistic too, right? Like with. Total war games usually you're controlling the entire army, and it's like, would you have that <coughs> level of, you know, you can't micro that many people, uh, that many. You can't micromanage. Yeah. This would be more realistic, like a general or you know a, a lieutenant in charge of three units or something. Yeah. Might have a bit more. So it's it's kind of interesting, right? Like at the end of the well, day. We used to do that back to... in the day when we played. We we would, we would split control of one thing, right? Kind of. Mm. Like, but this is just even more said that it's better, I think, because you have. Is that yeah. you right in front of me? What is that? What unit are you? I'm the three legions. I'm I'm kind of yeah. I just yeah, went past you. Yeah, I'll follow you. Yeah. And apparently I have like a way to run. There's like there's a rapid advance. Let me try that out and see what happens. Yeah. Do you see the hotkeys underneath you? Yeah. yeah. You really want to use that well. Like, yeah. if you're you know I, the thing about uh, in um, sorry uh, ranged that's really kind of annoying in this game is how much faster they are than um, melee. Mm. Like, I get it. I mean, obviously, especially with archers, because you're not that heavily armored. Yes. But skirmishers that have shields can kite uh, a legion, like, <laughs> for the entire game and never get tired. Well, I, like, see, I, oh. I, I see right now that, like, I have 30 seconds of run. I think it just, I just run fast while this timer is going on. That seems to be... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, don't have to, I just click and they run faster than normal, I think. Where do you go? You're on the right. Okay. We will have their base. Trying to catch up to you. Let's see if this works. No, it's almost 12 seconds of running here. Am I gaining on you? I don't, it's hard to tell. Are you also fast? What are you? I'm not fast, <laughs> but um, I just kind of got a bit ahead of you while you were hanging out, waiting for uh, marching orders. Mm. By the way, I'm kind of talking like an eight-year-old list because uh, I got uh, dental surgery last week. Mm. So my, uh, my my tongue mobility is a bit uh, restrained. Is it still recovering, you mean? Or yeah, from yeah. Like, uh, like numbness or just... Like, well, what? because it's it's um, the bottom of my 
the gums on the lower side is kind of attached to my tongue. Yeah. Um, so when I move my tongue, there's a little bit of restriction there just while it uh, kind of grows in. Mm. Alright, it's fun to be an archer in this game. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it, yeah, it can be <coughs> it really very affects enjoyable. From distance, yeah. <coughs> it says I'm performing a friendly file there, or maybe they stop that. <laughs> it's always going to happen. Especially at the end here, like, what yeah, can you do? Yeah, when you're all clustered in there. <coughs> So hopefully we can level you up really quick here. Um, oh, I see them drop yeah. their cow drops. Okay. Yeah. There we go. <clears throat> but the thing is, I guess if you drop cow drops, then you should move back slightly or something. Like I, I don't understand how it works. Or does it? See, I would think. It would yeah, be in front you, of you. you'd, you'd want to use that if you got um, if you're trying to kite like an infantry troop. Then you yeah. drop it and run away. Yeah. Um, or, I mean, if cavalry is charging you, wouldn't they want to slow them down, or...? <clears throat> this yeah, commander is still in battle. True. What does it mean? You're still in battle. What happened? Oh, sometimes sometimes it lags out, and it doesn't realize the game's over, so... In a few minutes, or a few seconds, it should, um... Give you your points. Um... I'll have you... I'll, I'll just explain the tech tree. So, um... Are, are you Greek archers, or what kind yeah, of archer are so. you? Yeah, I think so. I'm... I'm... Mycenaean, or whatever. Oh. Yeah... Mycenaean... Maybe not. Okay, let me see. <clears throat> do I press continue to get out of this, or do I leave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, press continue. Let's see what level I am now. Something happened. I'm level. Oh, I'm almost to level three. I think one more battle will get me to level three. Um. So there, well, there's level th There's there's two different leveling components. There's mm. your um your commander's level, mm. which also needs to get up to that uh, extent. Yeah. Um. And then there is your individual unit levels. So um, I'll, t I'll take you to Tech Tree sure. for a second. If you click Tech Tree on the top left. Uh, tech Tree, okay, yeah. And then click on Armies below that. Not Abilities, but Armies. All right, let's see. Armies. Um, is that on the left? Um, it's right below Tech Trees. There's just a difference oh, between yeah. Abilities I, I and that. Armies. Yeah, I'm on Armies, yeah. You're on armies? Yeah. Okay. So now click... You're you're actually Mycenaean Archer. So that's level one. Yeah. So click on Mycenaean Archer. Yeah. And now you'll see a bunch of, like, things to upgrade. Ah. Now, th th there's two things to note. Um, there's two different types of experience. At the top right, you'll see blue um, number. Yes. That's um, your your general allocation experience. Okay. Um, now, typically, you don't want to dip into that too much. <clears throat> For your troops, um, because that's going to be important uh, for your generals' abilities, which is on that check tech tree instead of army's abilities. Mm. Um, you'll want to level that up at some point. So, you know, try not to dip too much into the blue stuff. But if you if you look at the Mycenaean skill line, um, yep, you see a line going from the uh, bow. That's what you have to upgrade. Don't worry about oh, the basic arcade bow. Yeah, it says if I pre do press. 200 it'll uh, upgrade it to. So, are you able to upgrade to Brittle Archaic Bow? Yes, I can. Do I have to do that? So, so do that. Um, and, and again, remember, so it'll it'll show you on the tooltip, you know, how much experience you have in green. Yes. Um, that's the experience you want to use for these upgrades. You don't oh. want to use too much blue. So right now, so the green is fine, you... right? So I just press on the... There's, yeah. th there's two different places to press. There's the up button and then there's the actual 200. So I click on the... Let me let me just look. So uh, I'm I'm just gonna pull up a guy that I think it's probably um, the actual 200 because it says buy for 200 unit XP. That's gotta be it. I yeah, think. you want to buy it with 200 unit let's XP. Let's see. I'm clicking that, and then let's uh, do that. Okay, so it's bought it, and then I also have an upgrade okay. for a shabby tunic for 400 unit yeah. XP. Should I do that? For the for the simple archaic tunic, right? Yeah, uh, to get to a yeah, that's right. Yeah. Simple, yeah. yeah. So pay for that, and once you've done that, you will unlock the next archers. Oh, it, yeah, um, a 700 uh, unit green XP for it. Should I do that? Yeah. Yeah, you want to you want to upgrade as quick as possible into that new unit. So let's see. Now I'm on level. I see they're they're, they're there. Your squad is full. Without need to push cancel. Yeah. Okay. See. So so now you want to add those guys. So in the skill line, you'll see just a coin t tally below archaic archers. Yes. 
120. So just click that, and it'll let you add units. You're just going to want to click on your old units to replace them. Do I first click on them first, or uh, like which one do I click? This? Let's see. I'll let me you, you click um, the money. Oh, select icon one you want to replace. Doesn't matter. They're all the same, yeah. right? Right now, because the general. You want to, yeah, you want to, you want to replace them all. Okay, yeah. let's do that. Oops. Close. Um. Here too. Select. Replace that one. Replace. Okay, so I've replaced one of them. Oh, I see that they look different now too. Okay, yeah. I'll do that for the other two then. Yeah, so fill up your team because each each unit you control will get experience um, on the battlefield. So if you have three of the same guy, you're going to be tripling up the experience to, in that archer. There's no reason to, to have later. the old one. Like, that doesn't make any sense. You want to upgrade. Um, well, th so there is a bonus for having one different unit. Hmm. There's there's like a, maybe a 10 or 20% uh, like diversity bonus. Um, but I wouldn't worry about it too yeah, much. Yeah, it's not that, uh, that important right now, I think. Okay, no, so I, not, I've replaced them with the, the, the new archers now, which is nice. Awesome. Um, this will be useful if I want to get people in the game. I'll put this video up. They can realize how to, how to play. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but then you have Perfect. to repeat yourself. Um, they can just watch it. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, so if you've got level two guys, then let's uh, click ready and jump right in. Sure, let me stop this video, so we'll just, just in case it's getting long, I'm going to do a new video here.